Hello friends and welcome back, this is episode 47 of our Terraria 1.2 Let's Play, and I have another surprise for you. Yes, I know we were about to fight a boss for the, like, third time, but it looks like things might need to get pushed back once again, because apparently it's time for a solar eclipse. I had no idea this was about to happen, I had a blood moon the night before, uh, you know, as you saw on the last one. That wasn't really all that difficult, but now we're gonna be fighting a whole group of new enemies that I've never seen before, because, you know, we're in hard mode. Uh, but I am told that every single one of these enemies has a unique drop, so it is worth capitalizing on this while we can. Uh, so I just happen to be farming uh, the Wavern, uh, the Harpy area, trying to get a big feather. And then that started. So I decided, let's teleport home, we'll start a new episode, and I guess we will try fighting the twins yet another day. So, first things first, I want to make... I got this ice feather, right? So I want to make some wings out of that, because frozen wings sound pretty badass, so let's do that. I've also got this tattered B-Wing. I don't know if I care uh, to make B-Wings out of this. I guess I'll do it, because, you know, then I have them, and then maybe another day we can try that. I got a ton of Souls of Flight, by the way, so I'm not too worried about uh, spending those on things. And let's see how this looks on our character. Uh, also, did we get a status effect plus one to damage? That's kind of cool. So that looks kind of cool. I, I don't mind it. I mean, it would be nicer if it was green. I don't know if I can, like, die them or anything, but if I can, that would be pretty sweet. Anyway, there's swamp monsters here in our house now, or, or they're trying to get in anyway, so we're gonna get away from here as soon as we can, uh, and go toward probably that same frozen area, because these guys are just, oh, they don't care about anything. They're just coming in. Uh, I guess we're just gonna run for our lives then, so we don't get all of our NPCs killed, because this seems like a pretty bad spot to be right now. I don't want to get everybody killed. Oh, look, and look who followed us, of course. I do hope that the frozen wings are better than the butterfly wings. I'm not sure, or at least as good as, rather. Uh, I'm not sure where they fall on the hierarchy of wing things. Let's get rid of him first off, if we can, and then we'll start to concentrate on fighting some of these bad guys here. Um, this could be difficult. I don't honestly know how hard these guys are going to be. I've never fought these before at all, but I'm going to give it my best, and I probably should have gotten some more power-ups and all kinds of uh, health potions before we attempted this. This is going to be like 15 minutes of a gauntlet, so, you know, be prepared. This isn't going to be over soon. But we will try and hold up. This might not be the best place to fight them, but at least here, I hear there's some enemies that shoot lasers, so I want to not be in line of sight for those if possible. I also see something dropped a heart over there, so I'm going to try and go grab that. Um, I really want some of these special drops. I heard there was, like, a Reaper Sickle or something, which seems pretty cool to me. Man, these guys are tough. I guess if things get too scary, I can always run up the, the rope here, which is kind of what is happening right now. Oh, they can follow me into the air. Of course they can. Yeah, this is going to be scary business all the way through. Vampire bats can follow me everywhere. Um, I don't know if there's going to be drops that I need to worry about. I'm not going to see them for a moment, because it's pretty dark over here. But I'm probably going to get killed if I don't... Oh, jeez, what did I do to my hop bar? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Get out of there. I need to keep running in one direction if I can whenever this happens. Otherwise, they pile up behind me. I'm about to die again. Uh, and the, the Reaper guys can go right through walls, so it's not like I can hide in a corner or anything. Their AI is not particularly sophisticated, but they they overwhelm you with numbers. And if I die, it's not too big of a deal, granted, as long as they don't kill all my NPCs. Yeah, there goes a gold, at least, but I'll just run away again, and hopefully they won't be able to get to me in time. I was slain. I understand. Can I get some more healing potions, though? Will I have time to do that before we get under siege again? There's uh, that. Let's pile these together. Uh, we'll fill this back up to... F Ooh, I didn't want to do that. I want to grab the whole stack and do one of those. And Iron Skin might be necessary here. I mean, I only have a couple of them. Ugh. Hate using them like this, but sure, why not? Now, let's get the hell out of here before... Yeah, that's what happens. Let's not hang out. Come on. Let's go. Over here, guys. Everybody over here. Now, if we're on this, this far away, I think we should be safe from bothering the NPCs too much. Hope, anyway. Plus, if we can see, that would be better, too, because it was kind of dark over there, I'll admit. Although I don't have the rope in my uh, direct vicinity. I could actually put a wall behind me, if I have a couple of seconds here to handle that. That way they have to at least uh, leap over that, which should give me a few moments to hopefully see them coming. 
Oh, broken bat wing. I think that's a thing I wanted, and a vampire banner. That's also a thing I think I wanted. So maybe I can make a sweet, like, Halloween-themed uh, bat wing thingamajig. I don't know. I don't know what's, what's happening at all. But we will keep fighting the good fight, guys. We've got a while ahead of us yet. And it looks like I can hit them through this, which is great news as well. I can kind of do the same thing on both sides, but I feel like I have things pretty much under control right now. Uh, the ones that go through walls I'm not all that worried about, because there's only one or two at a time, and it seems like they have enough HP that they're not, like, one shot to kill, but they're also not overwhelming me as much either, because, well, this uh, Mushroom Spear is just crazy awesome. Alright, I'm glad I did the wall. I think that was a good call. Now let's just stack up on all kinds of drops. That's what I want to see. Let's go over this for a moment. Pick up anything I missed. I mean, the vampire guys shouldn't have any problem jumping over. I think they should just be able to fly. But whatever, they don't seem to be occurring quite as frequently. And there's ones that are like an eye laser dude, like I said earlier, that I don't think I've seen even show up yet. Oh, there's another Reaper. I don't fear the Reaper. Get over here. You wanna go? Drop your thing, please. I want it... No. I want a Reaper Scythe, or a Sickle, or whatever. This seems awesome. Now, I don't know if the hierarchy of items is something that would be beneficial in terms of actual progression, or if this is more just about, like... Here's a random event, see where this falls, and, you know, if you get something that's better than your character, then awesome. If not, you'll probably just die a whole bunch of times. So it's, it seems like it's kind of balanced by that. You're either you're either going to have a really hard time fighting all this stuff, or you're going to get something uh, that is already behind you in terms of progression. And I think I'm probably a little past these guys, given how easily I seem to be able to take most of them out. As long as I don't get overwhelmed, I feel like we're in not as much danger as I thought we were last few moments ago. And this lasts for the whole day. Uh, so it's from morning to night, so we get a blood moon, and then an eclipse during the day, so it's like we get a little bit of both. So a full, full day-night cycle of scary, fast spawns. Uh, I mean, this is, like I said, it's not end-of-the-world scary. I got another broken bat wing. I hope they're rare. And maybe I just got really lucky, who knows. I like that there's, like, Swamp Things and Frankenstein. like we're being uh, accosted by every classic horror movie trope all at once. And they're not even called Frankensteins. It's Frankenstein's monster. Frankenstein was the doctor that built the monster, right? So why do we call them Frankensteins at this point? It's just become a silly trope in horror for whatever reason. We just don't like to acknowledge that. Look at these guys. They're not even smart enough to realize they could just despawn and come from the other side. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, those wings on my back make me look some, like some sort of weird, like, glowing radioactive angel or something, which is kind of awesome. Let's go grab this heart while we can and see if there's anything else here. Can't always notice the drops when they show up. Oh, wow. I could just use the wall like this, because they all seem to be coming from the right. There are a lot of them. My goodness. Also seems to be way harder to hit them from this side than the other side. So I prefer to stay over here. Such a simple technique, yet it seems to go so far for AI. It's amazing these days, like, how much you can cheese some of these games. You would have thought, as we got towards the, the 2010 region... Oh, we got a Reaper banner, that's cool. Uh, that we would have started to evolve a little bit more on AI, but then again, this is like a humble indie game, so I shouldn't probably be too critical on it. But, you know, in terms of, like, the top performing, you know, next-gen FPS experience, like, it seems like they really haven't evolved AI all that much. Uh, I mean, maybe there were a few moments of, you know, glory, but for the most part, things have remained largely in the status quo, I feel like. You know, not like they we're still in the realm of, like, Quake 2 or anything in terms of AI, which I remember they were billing that as, like, a big deal back in the day as well. But that is not quite the case, and I'm not sure they tricked too many of us with that either. You gotta do whatever you can for marketing, right? That's kind of the way these things work. Man, I was really eager to fight this boss, but I was really hoping to get that Harpy Feather as well, and it looks like neither of those things will be happening. Also, I thought these pumpkins that uh, are all over the ground, I thought those were exclusive to, like, the Halloween time 
event, but maybe they've just been added permanently to the world. Which I guess is totally fine, I mean, why not? And the more the merrier when it comes to diversity of life in this game, right? I would actually like to see some more little critters hanging out. Another broken batwing, holy crap. Maybe I need a lot of them. Oh, it's the eye thing. Alright, he's pretty rare. Uh, but he doesn't... well, he didn't drop anything. Each one of them has something, so... I know I said that already, but still, I'm excited because I want all these chances for drops to pay off. I mean, I'm killing dozens of these guys as we hang out with them here, and I'm getting quite a bit of money as well. Uh, speaking of which, I left a little bit of money back over to the left. I'm hoping it'll still be there when we're done with this whole thing. Somebody told me I have something like two hours before items despawn. I'm not sure if that's necessarily correct, but I guess uh, who am I to fight with the person? I don't know myself. I feel like it was something shorter than that, but I don't know. I mean, two hours, like, real time, right? Not two hours game time, because I have no idea what the actual conversion rate is between actual time and in-game hours. There's never been a clock from what I'm aware, right? Oh, also, I got a bunch of accessories at some point, and I don't remember why. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, I think it was when I went into the, the jungle again last time when I was trying to get back to my body or something, or when I was leaving, or between... I don't know what happened. I, I just got a bunch of accessories. I got... Well, you saw me get that horseshoe last time, but did I show you there was a clock of... Like a stop slow clock or something? I don't know what the actual point of it was, but... I am curious to know what it combines with. I'm pretty sure it's part of that, like, uber accessory that gives you uh, immunity to all different effects. So that's something I need to investigate. And uh, somebody told me I need to definitely start throwing away all of my superfluous items. I hear you on that. I've actually been selling a bunch of them little by little as uh, I run out of room. But as I've had, like, an additional slot or two, I figured there was really no harm in that. You know, just collecting them for now in case something combines in a way that I wasn't expecting, right? I should think about maybe changing the color of my cursor, because it seems like I get that lost on the screen quite often, and then I start stabbing in the wrong direction. Uh, you know, it's kind of important to know what you're attacking at when you are attacking, of course. And I feel like a little bit that this cursor might need to be a little bit brighter, or need some kind of, like, other... Maybe a pulsing effect or something that makes it a little easier to track, because there's so much going on. Now, nobody's ever said this game was slow-paced. Certainly takes a bit of a different approach uh, as, re you know, in respect to, like, this starbound approach, which is a little bit more contemplative and slow-paced, and a lot of the time you just end up finding an enemy and boxing them in, and then just walking around them if you don't have the ability to fight them properly. That's what I've been doing most of the time anyway. I think it works pretty well for now, unless the AI gets substantially better. Alright, so we've actually made a bit of a recovery here. For a while we were not doing so well. But now I think things are okay again. They're back on track. And I think a lot of it is to do with the fact that this spear, not only does it hit multiple times per thrust, but I also have pretty good knockback with it. And knockback is a really, really important thing in this game, and it really helps you be able to have some crowd control abilities. Because you often are getting mobbed by a lot of things all at the same time. Uh, looks like the solar eclipse sun is going down now. Uh, maybe just a few minutes left of this, and maybe we'll end up with half the episode still. Uh, after the eclipse ends. I was really hoping we'd get that sickle, though, but it's not looking likely at this point. Uh, this is a very rare event. I read on the wiki it's like a 4% chance of happening, but it's slightly more likely to happen after a solar eclipse, or after a blood moon, rather, than a solar eclipse, but I think it has to be post-hard mode, right? So, uh, for now, I think this is going to be the only time we see this for a bit. And they definitely recommend it in the wiki that you take advantage of this if it's here, so that is kind of what I'm doing. That is a lot of Swamp Things. You guys you need to chill out and diversify a little bit more. How many gold did I get from this whole thing? 31! Holy crap! I haven't been watching what I've been picking up, so like 8 silver, 110, 29 silver, 47 silver... Holy crap, that is why I am getting rich right now. Alright, I'm not gonna fight with that. Hello, I dude. Oh, you're not gonna give me anything. All right. Yeah, I guess their drops are still pretty rare. Would have hoped, since the event itself is pretty rare, that maybe uh, the drops would be a little bit less so. But uh, what are you gonna do? Kind of makes them a little bit more special, right? No scythe again. Darn. Let's 
get out of there. I don't really want to hang out on that side. I really love that my little turret on the top of my head is also helping shoot stuff in the other direction as well. Uh, maybe keeping things going in both directions so I don't have to worry as much. Is it just... It literally just calls him Frankenstein. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, there's another death. Maybe we have another chance at it. They're really not all that dangerous, are they? They're really just like specters, just uh, a little bit different looking. Yeah, 25 silver there. Oh, another one. Gotta be running out of time at this point, though. Oh, jeez, I let them get in both directions. That is not what you want. No, we're fine. 133 silver right there. Wow. That is wild. Let's heal again. And all four of them taken out pretty easily. Right, another death. Does it, The eclipse doesn't go through the night, too, right? It's just from sun up to sun down, I think I read. Uh, I let them stack up again. Well, I could just get them all together in a pile here. Getting enemies together in a pile. Very good strategy for the most part when it comes to this game. Get them all together. Do the damage all at once, especially if your weapon seems to pierce them like this. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot else that'll get the job done quite as quickly. Oh! There's a rare drop! What did I get? Moonstone! Hooray! I got something. That sounds awesome. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna look in just a second when I kill the last bit of this. Looks like the sky has returned to pretty much normal. And we'll just demolish this wall now because it doesn't look like we're gonna need it. And there we go. Back to goldfish. Uh, there's still a few more swamp things down here just in case they have a chance to drop anything. Might as well take them out. Plus they drop a bunch of money, right? Alright, there we go. All done. The eclipse is finished. There's a unicorn here now. Well, that was exciting. It wasn't nearly as frustrating as the stupid pirate attack, although I might be better equipped to handle that now that I have much, much, much better armor uh, and weapon as well. And I don't think we even lost any of our NPCs through that whole thing, which is pretty incredible. Let's just go double check. Yeah, it looks like everybody's still here. Uh, I really need to build another floor on this house, or, well, the other option is I could populate the center points here with more uh, tables and chairs. I've been hesitant to do that, though, because of aesthetics, and I think that most people would get frustrated with me if I made things uh, not symmetrical anymore. And we'll just go ahead and harvest our latest uh, glowing mushroom bounty. I love that I just take my uh, this cutlass and just go through in one pass and just grab all of it at one time. Alright, let's see what that moonstone is. That seems like it was something pretty cool. Uh, increases all stats if worn during the night. Oh, it's just kind of like the uh, thing from uh, Castlevania, I guess. And let's talk to you. First of all, I want to see, does this mold into anything better? Oh, geez, it does. A sunstone and a moonstone makes a celestial stone. Minor increase to damage, melee speed, critical strike, chance, life regeneration, defense, pick speed, and minion knockback. That is like all the things there is. That there are. That's uh, definitely a thing I want. I don't know how to get a sunstone, but I'm interested. Alright, so let's take that back. Next, I want to check the broken Batwing. Yep, I only needed one of those, and then I can make uh, a Batwing set with the Souls of Flight. I might as well do that, because it seems like I'm collecting wings now. Uh, and I have plenty of Souls of Flight and more than enough Batwings. I can't believe I got three of those. I guess if that, if anything, that's our big bonus. We got plenty of that. So let's take... I need 15 of that. So you got five there. And then we'll just go ahead and craft it. Oh, wait, what was this here? Vile Powder. Oh, okay, I haven't ever made that. Uh, whatever, you just keep doing your thing. I'll just scroll that way. And let's try on the bat wings. Oh, they're violent. Plus 4% melee speed. Let's see what that looks like with our cutlass. It's probably ridiculous. Oh, that actually looks even cooler. It actually matches, too, with the horns. Also, this is hilarious when you close a door and you grapple it. I've noticed it does this every time. It just kind of springs you forward. Which is kind of, uh, I don't know, weird little glitchy kind of thing, but I kind of like it anyway. Um, alright, is that good? I can't tell if I like that better or not. How far... How far up into the air is that helping me go? Oh, excuse me. You're not allowed over here. Get out of there. Those things are dumb. They don't seem to give you anything good. Alright, let's see if we could test this somehow. Uh, is there a way I could, like... I was gonna, like, plant something on a wall. Oh, I guess I could use this, right? We could go down, and then we'll go hang out, like, down here, and we'll put a torch at a certain point, or we'll put a little foothold at a point, and I'll delete this afterward. Let's just see if this... Yeah, that works, and it gets us right about to the wizard. 
So then if I swap my wing with the jagged ice wings instead of the violent bat wings, and then we go back to our foothold, and then we'll go fly up and see if that gets us the same position or better. Oh, I forgot what I did here for double jumping. I hope I did the same exact thing. Oh, this is definitely higher unless I messed up with that. Which is weird, because you would think, uh, given the way the other thing worked out, also I like the 1% damage, uh, being that this is a rarer item, that this would be the better one of the two. Did I not? Maybe I didn't double jump properly. Let's try this again. Oh, they're, uh, they're pretty much the same, aren't they? Well, I think the bat wings look cooler, or at least they look more consistent, but I like them both quite a bit. So I'll store these for now. Oh, and I've even got the bee wings. I haven't even tried these out either. Crafting all the freaking wings. Oh, these I definitely don't like the look of, but let's uh, compare them on our scale here. And then I'll delete that bit. All right, so full jump, and then up. And where does that put us? Yeah, same. Okay, so these all seem like they're the same tier of wings. I guess there's only maybe one more tier above where I'm at. And where did I store these? I had wings over here. There we go. Oh, and that's what I ended up with, by the way. Uh, you just saw in my last chest there. Uh, let's put this back on. And put the butterfly wings here as well. So many wings. Man, I didn't expect I'd have so many so soon. And I've even got more bat wings. Um, oh, right, I was just going to show you the chest there that has all of these pieces of frost breastplate and leggings, but I don't have the helmets. So, oh well. Uh, oh, is it night? I'm freaking wasting time here. I should be fighting this boss. Yeah, I think I have enough time. Let's give it a shot. I should still have the item. I do, in fact. Uh, oh, and I'm going to dump off my gold before I get into the fight. we got to play smart here. Uh, it's only going to take me five seconds anyway. Let's just do one of these. And almost an entire another platinum out of just that one little encounter. Really didn't take very long at all. And I'm going to pop my iron skin potion, of course, for this, because, well, it's probably going to be pretty hard, right? I would think it would be anyway. I don't know how this fight's going to go. I might get annihilated. Uh, if I do, then we will double back and we will figure out other ways to improve our stats, and then we'll go and approach this again uh, in another episode. Uh, oh, where was I planning on fighting this thing? Probably, like, over here somewhere, right? Oh, there's all kinds of money that's left over from that encounter, too. Now I'll just lead all of these guys back, and uh, yeah, we'll start the fight over here. Alright, you gotta get out of here. Alright, see you later. Got another unicorn horn. They drop pretty readily, actually, those unicorn horns. And the uh, pixie dust as well, but I couldn't really want any more pixie dust. I've got plenty. Alright, let's drop this off here. Summon the twins and see how we do. Oh, I should really equip the moonstone too, because I'm not going to need the extra... Wait, what is this? Immunity knockback and fire blocks... Uh, which one should I get rid of? Probably the running super fast. I don't know, either one of these. Yeah, the melee speed is probably less important. And running super fast as well. Why can't I move this out of my inventory here? I don't know what just happened there. It seemed like it just dropped it. Uh, okay, that was really strange. Okay, they're in there. I'm going to put the moonstone on. And then I'm going to pop my iron skin. I don't know what it's doing with this horrible tether right now, this, uh, spasmatism. Pretty gross. Oh, and I've already got a freaking gold already, too, man. Uh, I'm just kind of gathering my thoughts here before I start the actual fight. Yeah, I'm gonna hit B, and that should buff, right? So Iron Skin's on. And then I'm just gonna kind of beat away on this guy with my Unpleasant Mushroom Spear and... Of course, the Furious Golden Shower, or there's two of them, right? It's not just the one. And making it yellow also helps me be able to see what I'm doing at the same time. Yeah, this guy's really, really fast. Uh, I might not be able to handle this fight, actually. Let's heal up already. Oh, I actually did a bunch of damage on that. That's good. All right, let's use more Golden Shower. Keep their defense down if I can. Okay, they aren't actually hurting me as much as I would have expected, and we'll poison them as well if we can. I don't know if that's even possible, but might as well try. And then once that runs out, we'll just go back to the spear. The range on these guys is really weird. Like, you're clearly going to take a lot of hits while you're trying to run into them and, and do damage yourself, but we'll see how it goes. They're both harder and easier than I expected at the same time, which is kind of a strange feeling. 
Uh, and having that Moonstone, I think, is going to hopefully make a big difference. I don't even know what I need out of this fight, really. I mean, I've already gotten past the Hollowed Bars phase. I think they're probably going to have another phase as well, right? When I fight them, when I uh, get to lower health. Heal again. And then we'll use more Poison Staff. Glad I can fly for this fight. Certainly glad I can do that. Oh, and I've run through my MP already. Man, that was fast. Alright, there is phase two for that one. I'd love- oh my god! What do I do about that? I freaking got a lightsaber of death that won't stop following me around. Uh, crap. I can't even heal up again for a while, and I'm gonna run out of health. Oh, I feel so slow without my boots. Seven seconds. I don't know if I should be moving toward my house like this. I'm trying to just train them around so they can't hit me as much. One and zero. Healed, but barely. Uh, didn't really make a huge difference. I should definitely not get them both in rage state at the same time, though. That seems like a really poor idea, and I'm about to die. If I could kill one, the other would be much easier, but I don't think I'm able. Yeah, alright, so that's a, still a very tough boss fight. And I didn't make another one of the item to summon this again, so I guess that's kind of it for that guy for now. But, I was half expecting that to happen. The first phase, probably doable. Uh, it didn't seem like it was killing me as quickly as I was expecting. The second phase, though, that I have to sort out how I'm going to handle. I could definitely fight the worm again, though. That's not a problem. I'm pretty sure... <laughs> Can I, I might be able to take him out in the last few moments that remain of the night. Although I'm so slow with that. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to figure out a way around this. I need that speed, because walking is now arduous. Should I kill the worm? Do I have time? It's really... I really don't have much time at all. I probably shouldn't do this, but... Let's do it anyway, because why not? Oh, no, I've got, like, nowhere near enough time. Alright, never mind. I guess we'll just wrap up the episode. I think I'd probably get him about halfway down before night was over, and then I would just have wasted that summon item. But all in all, I'd still say we had a pretty successful uh, trip through this day. It was a pretty wild ride, and I did actually get a Reaper banner also, and a Vampire banner, which is another... as well as uh, three Wavern banners, which is kind of cool as well. Uh, but that is going to do it for another episode, guys. I'm sorry that fight didn't quite work out, but they don't always, right? So... Uh, we'll continue to brainstorm new ideas of how we can get better stats for future fights. Sounds like a ban, doesn't it? Better stats for future fights. Uh, and then we will come back to that situation, and hopefully we should reign triumphant after a little bit more time spent figuring out the dynamics of what we need to do differently. Um, I might even need to build some kind of a structure to be able to handle that a little bit better, but... Or maybe just pop more potions, who knows? There's probably some way uh, to maximize what I have already, because honestly my gear is pretty good, right? Isn't this where I should be for this point in the game? I feel like it is. Uh, and things have been moving reasonably quickly, I feel like, towards this last few episodes. Things have been fairly sm oh, excuse me, smooth. So, I don't know. We'll keep brainstorming, like I said, and uh, we'll come back to it. Keep me leaving me suggestions, though. I'd love to hear what you say about the next way to proceed uh, for going forward from here. I don't know what my next plan is, then. I'm going to have to think about it. So, we'll, we'll figure it out next time. And I hope you guys uh, still are enjoying the series. Please do let me know, of course, that as well. And leaving your support is always invaluable to me. I greatly appreciate it, and I still read every comment. So I will catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a lovely night. Talk to you later, guys!